see what's going on we do have the two of pentacles and we have the page of pentacles something is on is on our mind um it's kind of like you putting all the work right you be the one doing the work in this connection and uh, um, kind of making offers on the table bringing in communication page of wands yourself with a sense of excitement and adventure right being ready for um you know for a sensual uh playful experience and making the effort to have them and um but then there is five of pentacles you did all the work and they rejected you right that's how anyways they said no thank you at some point stop communication and the fall and now we are opening a new chapter here we are at a new beginning of some sort so let's see last shuffle then we cut the cards to see the bottom of the deck two of wands and two of pentacles decisions 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 i know decisions we need to decide something at this point so let's see choosing a path right should i take them back should i move forward what am i supposed to do that's why we chose this reading right so the universe can guide us a bit and gives us an idea well bottom of the deck six of cups right kind of the the universe saying well this is a soulmate connection body mind and soul it was important it was good we want them back the overall energy is wanting this connection to be back we'll see if this is you or the person you are dealing with this is the energy of um um going through uh right memories and messages and communication and um all kinds of uh pics that we took for this person with this person and um it's also the energy of reconciliation by the way so so let's see so past energies on your side such as the person you are dealing with and mutual let's have this energy right now oh you get three okay you have a lot happening that's good and mutual and let's have the possible outcome and we say the first week of september but can be beginning of september you know how energies are it's, thank god we have free will so we can change something i do love you have six of cups and the star might be an aquarius but this is really healing this is alignment this is higher self this is wish fulfillment right and um and abundant spiritual energy so we love this now Sagittarius what happened in the past we do have the Queen of Swords and the Six of Swords um yes can be a Gemini Libra or Aquarius um uh, we have Aquarius twice so far so might be um you know an Aquarius you're connecting with but this is such an energy of peace of mind this is a decision that you took probably in the past because either the situation became uh, difficult cold um unattractive or communication became um, a challenge and with the six of swords is like let me have some peace of mind please um it's the energy of i have to do this um such as so probably you felt that at some point that you know what i had to do this um queen of swords she's very of course she's the divorcee and uh and she does what's right and she does what is what's important to bring some uh, fairness and balance to a situation to herself to to the people involved um it's a sense of detachment also right so we might have detached from um, a connection with somebody and uh, and we just moved away we took a boat <laughs> well it's kind of anyways with pandemic times but somebody here decided oh yeah i'm gonna get on that boat now this person of yours they do have the six of wands and the ace of wands um if you if you ask me this is kind of a confirmation that they were still attracted to you and and passionate by um you know this connection but also it's a sense of uh, them wanting a new beginning manifesting one longing for one fighting for one um depending on your situation this is actually the energy of yes they wanted kind of a, a new cycle with you um and they were willing to fight right six of wands is victory after a good uh the fair fight um but again can be new beginnings can uh, might have been new beginnings for both of you and um in a sense of i want to be passionate again right 
mutual energies between the two of you we do have the two of pentacles again we had it in the shuffling so um such size we have somebody really working hard for this connection to work in the past and then we have yourself um passionate and and chasing your future and i believe that you wanted to some point to come back to yourself um to ground and be passionate again have a sense of freedom knight of wands is a very free energy um chasing dreams and chasing energies that will um allow you to be yourself and uh, accomplish whatever you wanted to accomplish right um and one was struggling and one was longing for freedom i'm not gonna lie in the past there is this energy of one felt like oh i have to work now you know with the two of pentacles i have to work on this now i want i passionately want the victory this one while on your side you kind of turned a little bit um distant and seeing a sense in um in a separation of some sort right so where are we right now we do have the nine of pentacles so we have you independent uh we have you autonomous you we have you working on um your stability and we also have a little bit of five of cups energy and lovers gemini uh, we might be a little bit regretful of the ways we've done this uh, we might be thinking of the bond uh, we might be missing the sense of love um, significant love uh, one that is a body mind and soul kind of connection and with the five of cups is maybe we look back at this time with a little bit of regret or just longing to have something significant at this time and because of the overall energy i kind of tend to believe that we are still looking back such that is this time and despite the independence that you wanted with the nine of pentacles and feeling good and having what you want we're working for what you want we still have this energy of but i i mean if we don't have love we don't have much right if we don't have this kind of bond where we feel um, loved and respected right and comforted and and um and that is a sense of love making in in this um in this energy so we kind of missed a significant bond um a significant bond with somebody um this person of yours the full and ten of pentacles right they have no choice but to start new here um ten of pentacles the energy of family is important so you might have had a connection family um you know kind of um marriage and um and um kids with this person and it is important and and yet they are uh forced towards a new chapter at this time um i don't know if they left behind family and they kind of abandoned and, and said no thank you or they feel like this is the energy around them right um it's kind of moving in the opposite direction of family and starting something with a with an element of risk and um you know um I have to do this i have no choice but to jump right they might have been forced um here mutual energies between the two of you we do have the tower and the three of pentacles so this is uh, the explosion of this partnership this is a little bit of um the last um kind of chamber of the tower uh, that went um right in flame and uh, it looks like over okay it looks like over um i'm seeing acceptance from this person acceptance of this is over so i'm gonna move on uh, and i'm seeing acceptance on your side right they might have wanted to fight about it in the past but now there is a sense of peace with a full a sense of um i'm gonna see what's out there right and i probably such serious it was um this ended in a harsh way um probably and and that's how we have the five of cups on your uh side this at uh, this time right questioning could i have done you know better um is there uh, some energy that i can um uh, you know shift and and um and um have a little bit of uh, peace with it right because the tower right at the um, right at the core of the reading it is an indication of of something that went might have went um quite bad and we also get the uh, the star as the overall energy and we know it's about spirituality and alignment so might be guidance for us at this time you know to recenter regroup um and align to higher self energy 
because it has been right difficult for you difficult for them coming your way we have apologies page of um, cups and we have the hangman i love the hangman because this is all about awakening and changing perspectives and we have the page of cups can be about apologies for some of you it can be the universe kind of saying you know maybe that is something that we should take a second look at it um and um and eventually you know see the emotional implications and and um um, and whatever apologies we might have to say, uh, take responsibility, a deeper understanding at something, and that is no shame of saying, I know, this is my part and this is yours, and, and now what can we do, right? Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Uh, for some of you, it's, the, it's apologies coming your way, and uh, the hangman is, uh, you know, kind of a form of communication. We know uh, pages are about communication, emotional communication with a page of cups. This is the kind of conversation where um, it is kind of an eye opener, right? And we understand better and we are uh, we understand more um, what happened and, and it brings, uh, it shines a light on, on this connection at this time. Now this person of yours, and I know they wanna to talk to you, Sagittarius, Ace of Swords and the Five of Wands, struggling and wanting to talk to you. Um, again, this energy of new beginning, ace of new beginnings, ace of wands in the past, ace of swords right now. But I'm more sensing communication. You have communication on your side, so that is a desire to kind of exchange ideas. Um, can be about uh, ways to move forward. Can be uh, unfinished business about this uh, family. Can be about money, assets, and stuff like this. It's a strong energy here. Um, but some food for thought or some um, um, heads up, right? They they come with the energy of the five of wands. Um, it's kind of the struggling energy, but also kind of fighting and conflictual energy. So, um, but there's also a sense of apologies and an emotional um, understanding of this. Mitchell energies coming your way. The possible outcome for you. We do have the Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the Four of Cups. Um, so one is in love, one is not paying attention, um, Sagittarius. Um, one is offering a cup, the other one is not. Um, it's physically present, but yeah, emotionally not present. And I kind of sense, Sagittarius, that we disconnected here while this person has um, is struggling. They struggle between, should I choose a new beginning? And they feel like they abandon the family, they abandon uh, whatever you've created. And that is a sense of, um, I have nothing, right? And that's why they struggle. It's between, I have nothing if I don't have my Sagittarius and uh, the energy of, but I want back. I'm going to fight to have, again, a new beginning and communication of some sort. But I'm sensing on your side, we are, um, we are elsewhere. And when I look at this energy, it's like, yeah, I want love. I, I, I want to be bonded and connected to somebody. But we have the nine of pentacles. So we, we still want that independence. And, and um, you know, we that is an energy here of we've sacrificed enough. Um, and it's time for us, um, Sagittarius, to have this new emotional experience here. Page of Cups, right? It's a new emotional um, offer a new emotional bond with somebody is developing feelings for somebody uh, growing feelings right catching feelings that's the expression I love it it's kind of funny but um, catching feelings is like catching a cold you know <laughs> that's what makes it funny for me but um, I'm, I'm, I'm really sensing that we are ready we are so ready for something new and um, and we leave the explosion in the past right so that's that's how it uh, this reading moves forward forward and the outcome of it is really um is really longing for something else while this person longs for communication with you and new beginnings and understanding why and fighting this new beginning you know well, we do have love, so we need to, we are guided to focus on love, Sagittarius. If this page of cups is an offer coming your way, I kind of feel that the universe is saying, well, baby, if this is love, we are taking it, you know? 
we have love, we have self-respect. Absolutely, probably the tower moment right at the core of the reading taught us a little bit about self-respect and the universe is uh, really guiding you to do something about, right? Something about love and something about self-respect. You might have um, been connected with somebody who uh, didn't respect you the way you're, uh, you know, um, supposed to expect it to whatever and um, and now really right if we start something new we need to have both and love and respect and self-respect and we do have the rainbow reviver we need to bring fun back such that is love and fun and yeah some self-respect which is very deep as situated between love and, and love and fun right um, so in the midst of it right we we kind of um, have to show up from a place of I'm going to take care of myself, I'm going to have fun, I'm going to have love, but I'm also going to listen to my needs and respect them and answer them. Um, such as, let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow at this time. So we surrender fear. I realize, I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. And you have love and the energy of love. So yeah, somebody here is guided to choose love at this time. We surrender blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. And you also have self-respect and well-being. So somebody here, I, I was I picked up the energy of a Sagittarius who forgot about themselves. And the universe is saying, you know what? We change perspectives. We open up emotionally and we let go of this. Fear, blame, regret. What's going on, such days? We surrender regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Fear, blame, and regret. What's going on? I mean, we need to shift. And, and the hangman, it makes sense, right, such days? Because the energy coming your way is the hangman. We are not seeing the situation from the right angle. And if we live in fear with blame and regret, we are definitely not. Um, helping the understanding, the detachment, the perspective, and the new beginning for that matter. We do have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And bottom of the deck, evolution. You realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. So yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That is such a beautiful energy here. Um, and now we have the big picture and I don't feel you are guided towards this person back, um, such that is, it's okay to be reminiscent about the past and think of the time, but actually healing is the main guidance, the main overall energy and your emotional experience coming your way and changing perspectives, right? The way we did love in the past, um, shouldn't be the same, right? A new way of doing love. That's that's what I'm picking up here. Um, so such that is. This is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay safe and strong. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.